Check out my motorbike, I hope you like it I'm a mix of a fighter pilot and a cyclist Never mind physics, because I find it's a little inapplicable Right when I fly, limits never reply And it's ever that I'm not gonna be the first daredevil to die My hell is a temperate climate So I'm revving on the engine just to get the freaking temperature rising Hello again, YouTubes, this is BD Bomb, and welcome to the final episode of Trials Evolution Gold Edition! This will actually be the first ever series that I will have completed on my channel, and I'm so excited! Um, now actually, there... In the last episode, you saw that I thought that it was the finale, when it actually wasn't. And there was actually a set of levels that I didn't do that I was going to record this episode. I made a mistake that I haven't made in a really long time and that is uh, I actually played and recorded all of those levels that I didn't do but I forgot to hit record on audacity which is what recorded my voice so it would have just been gameplay and not me talking over it which is dumb and and really stupid so I'm sorry about that but I do have something in mind for the finale that we can still do and I will say this while this is still loading and I don't know why it's taking such a long time to load uh, but I will do the Giga Track with zero faults. <laughs> it's gonna be difficult, and I'm gonna cut to when this is loaded because there's something wrong with it. Okay, we are we're finally in. That actually took a really, really, really freaking long time to load, and I'm not sure why. It's usually instant. Uh, but anyway, so you can see that went from 15% to 57, and that's because I got silver and bronze on one of them. Uh, <laughs> and silver on all of these. It was just kind of a funny episode, unfortunate that I didn't record it. But fortunate that I'm gonna, and, and unfortunate that I'm gonna have to get zero faults on this. As you can see, I got eight faults, and it is called Giga Track. The reason for this is that it is the longest track in the game, and it's 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 really it deser it's deserving of the name Giga Track. So we're gonna get zero faults on this, and Immortal HD tried to do the same thing. And if you've seen that video, it's uh, it's not it's not good. <laughs> I mean the video's the video's good, but it's it looks very scary. I am I'm afraid of this challenge. It's a very daunting challenge. <laughs> So let's get into it! Loading times seem to be kind of long. I don't know why. I'm not running any other- Up oh, there we go. Okay! We are in! Alright, let's do it. I'm gonna race myself. It'll be fun. <laughs> so yeah, I think earlier on in the series, I was talking about how you could race your friends and you could see the ghost. That's what I was talking about. I'm not sure if you've seen that before. Um, uh, yeah! I'm excited! I've never actually finished a series on my channel before, uh, and, and I don't know why. I, I think it's just because I, I'm busy doing series that can't be completed. Oh no, you get back here, me. Uh, <laughs> um, like Happy Wheels or Goat Simulator. I mean, Goat Simulator can be finished, I guess, if I'm just done with it. I can make a finale video. But what if there's mods or an update? I mean, they just updated it, and the update's awesome. Uh, <laughs> Oh man, but I'm probably done with the update because I sort of did everything except for unlock a special penguin called the fancy penguin and get this one sort of Easter egg. Oh man, but that's about it. I just I'm gonna look in the th I don't know enough Goat Simulator. We're we're playing we're playing trials, so let's do this. So far, so good. We're doing a lot slower, and I'm not sure why. But, uh, we have zero faults, and I think I had zero faults up until this point in my first time playing it as well. Oh, we caught up! Oh, barely! Come back here, bitty bum, I'm gonna catch you and, and, and spit on your face. Doing flips is stupid! Why did I do that?! Oh, no! <laughs> I'm probably gonna end up having this episode be edited, like, like my, uh, palette cleanser videos or goat simulator videos, because... Uh, there's a lot of, uh, there's, there's probably gonna be a lot of times I have to restart the whole race, and probably in later areas where I've been playing this for a couple minutes. I think this whole map is, like, five minutes long or more or something like that, depending on how well you do. Uh, I mean, of course, any map can be- MAP! I keep saying map, it's not Call of Duty! Any track can be, like, 30 minutes long if you've seen, um, if you've seen all Sham No Wow's uh, Trials Fusion video, which is really, really funny. Uh, <laughs> oh, 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 no! It's okay, we weren't that far in. It's all right, look at that texture loading. 
Oh, regardless of that though, this game's graphics are actually quite beautiful. I really like them. They have they're nice and colorful and the levels are all very well designed. They're all open and nice and stuff. And each have their own like sort of lighting to them that's cool. Like levels are blue and red and blue and red. And more red than blue usually. There hasn't really been a green level, has there? <laughs> But yeah, this is a very good game, it's, and it's why I can't wait for Trials Fusion. Which, if I haven't said it this in this episode already, is the game I will be playing uh, after this to take this uh, series' place. Uh, yeah, I, I got Trials Fusion, it was on sale for $15, and I was so happy uh, uh, oh no! <laughs> that it was on sale for $15 because I was sort of on the fence about getting that game because the whole futuristic and tricking stuff sort of maybe put me off a little bit. But when it was on sale and after I had watched gameplay to sort of finalize my decision, I was like, yes, I'm excited for this game. Because from what I've seen, the fun levels, like, like the sense of speed and height you get in that game seems to be a lot better. Like, it seems like you go a lot faster and stuff. Uh, and not necessarily too realistic, it definitely matches the whole futuristic theme. Because you're on futuristic bikes, you better be going a million miles an hour. <laughs> and that's something I really like about uh, this game. Flips are a bad idea! Uh, it's that- Oh! <laughs> I was lucky. This game's gonna have it out for me later, since I survived that. Uh, <laughs> but... I, when I what I little bit when I really like this game is when it goes real fast and when you go and do a bunch of high jumps and stuff So I'm excited for that But what I'm not excited for is that the hard levels seem to be a lot harder than the hard levels in this game <laughs> I mean of course if you're not counting the online levels cuz you can remember my online video I made of trials that was just dumb <laughs> the ninja level where the very first thing is a 90 degree wall climb where you have to defy physics to do it that's just that's that's come on man that's not fun oh see now one thing i do not like about this map is when it gets the sticky nasty floor because you probably can't tell just by watching flips are bad flips are a bad idea uh but sometimes the floor like this floor coming up it gets all sticky and nasty it's like a combination of dirt and rock and like if you land on it from a relatively high distance or even if you just land on it regularly it like your your bike gets stuck in it it's like a really hard floor and it, your bike is relatively soft it kind of feels like rubber 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 um, so you get all messed up, and that's usually when this track gets you, but so far I'm doing pretty good. Okay, take our time, and we gotta go fast, gotta go fast! Oh man, the wood textures are not loading for some reason. <laughs> that looked nasty. Okay, there we go. Textures are seeming to be loading a little bit better. I don't know what's up. The loading times are like, oh no, no, yes! Okay. Loading times are really long and textures aren't loading in. Ah, it doesn't matter though. <laughs> as long as the whole level doesn't look like that. <laughs> oh, but graphics aren't everything in a game. You can just ignore that. Oh, gosh. Oh, they definitely are something though, because people who say graphics don't matter kind of, I don't know. I, I'm suspicious of them. <laughs> oh, oh, because that's a very commonly thought thing. And I'm like, nah, you know, I mean, if a game was like, uh, Kind of pretty fun, but it looked like really, really bad. Oh, no! I was so far! I was two minutes in! I was almost three minutes in. Um, I mean, of course, if a game is retro that looks good, and, and uh, like, if a game looks good, that's fine. It doesn't have to have the most realistic cutting-edge graphics, and I think that's where people are coming from when they say graphics don't matter. Uh, but if a game looks poopy, then that matters to me. So I guess graphics don't necessarily matter. Well, I mean, the definition of the word graphic is something you can see pretty much. So, graphics matter, but rendered out 3D ultimate Battlefield 4 ultra settings graphics don't really matter to me. As long as the game looks good. Because I love it, I do myself some, um, what's a pixelated game I like? Oh snap, was a train gonna hit me? I can't think of a pixelated game I like. I know there's at least one. Uh, Super Meat Boy doesn't count, because that's, that's drawn. Oh, no, no. Oh, that was close. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Minecraft, there we go. I like Minecraft, but I actually do like it better when I have a texture pack and the shaders in, because while Minecraft is definitely pixely and you get used to it, it 
kind of looks a little poopy in my opinion. It's like the, the colors aren't very good in the default texture pack and I don't know, it's just, it, bleh, it's, the lighting isn't very nice. <laughs> but that's okay, texture packs fix it. Uh, so yeah, but uh, pixelated games, like, I can't think of any, like Fez, there we go. Fez is a really nice looking pixelated game, even though it does go into 3D in some areas. Uh, but yeah, that, that's got vibrant colors and all that stuff. Or even like old school games, like, uh, like old school games look good. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not saying there aren't any old old school games that look good. I'm just saying I can't think of any right now. Oh man, uh, like Smash TV. That game looked awesome. <laughs> it was really disturbing. Uh, that's that that was a really old school game that my dad and I played through, and we beat it. I think I think we beat it. I'm pretty sure we did. Oh no, I wasn't paying attention. Gosh, dang it. Uh, but you're you're in like a twisted dystopian future where you're like in playing a game show. And you're in, you, all you're wearing is padding, and you're put in like they put all of these crazy, insane people, like criminally insane people, to kill you, and you gotta shoot them down. And it's it's pretty cool. I like it a lot. It's really uh, disturbing, actually. Just the context of it, not even the gore and the final boss, which is really nasty. Cause you know, old games in the, after Mortal Kombat came out, they were all into the disturbing gore. And I think Smash TV is the game I'm thinking of, but the final boss to that, unless this is a different game, the final boss of the game I'm thinking of, you shoot him and stuff, and he's just a floating head. But when you shoot him, he turns into like a skull, and he just continues fighting even though he actually should normally be dead. And that's another thing that's really just, oh, no! But that's another thing. Uh, that's really disturbing to me is that I can't beat this level without zero faults. But what I was going to say is like when things suffer super bad injuries, like like uh, having their limbs cut off and stuff and they're still alive and even better trying to kill you uh, after so, like zombies aren't necessarily that much of a disturbingness to me. I mean, they were at first, of course, but they're undead, so they're sort of meant to be able to take all that. But um, if something is living and it's like cursed or whatnot, then, then that messes with me if that happens. Like there's this one claymation animator on YouTube who does really disturbing, kind of like music videos, but not, I think, I think music, I haven't seen him in a while, but he makes these really, really, really freaking gory animations in claymation and he's really talented. Uh, but he does that, where things get dismembered, but they're still after the person, and it, it just makes me queasy. I can't watch it too much. Or Happy Tree Friends! Another thing that really makes me queasy, because they're getting all this horrible stuff done to them, and they're so adorable, but they're still alive, and it's like, oh no! Put him out of their misery! Oh, I hate Happy Tree Friends. Just thinking about it makes me nauseous. I mean, I love it, but I, I, uh, it's like, the animation is really good and stuff. It's just so disturbing. <laughs> it's kind of funny if you think about it in the aspect that it's it's basically like what the uh, oh no ah oh, dang it! I was just thinking to myself how was I gonna get out of that one, but I didn't. But if you think about it in the aspect of like what would really happen to Looney Tunes characters <laughs> if they were vulnerable, it's kind of like what Happy Tree Friends is. Okay, enough on the subject of disturbing. I'm starting to sweat a little bit. <laughs> My imagination is very vivid. Oh god. Oh, okay. We're good. We are good. You might have noticed that I talk about YouTubers quite a bit on my channel. And I think that's something people should do more. Because it seems like it's almost taboo to mention another channel's video in your uh, when you're talking. But I think we should spread the love a little bit more, you know? I mean, the two people I talked about are super famous. But still, the little attention that I get from them is still good. Uh, and I think more more people should do that. And like the one person I can think of that does do this, or the two people um, that do this on occasion, but not on a regular basis, is Dan Bull. And also PewDiePie did that once. Uh, but Dan Bull has this thing called like the love bomb, and it's when he searches through very underrated channels, which there are a lot of. Um, because the way YouTube is, you can't really get. Oh, oh no. Okay, good. You can't really get far very fast anymore. Before, I mean, I'm not, I wasn't saying it was easy to accelerate before, but an example is two two years ago, one year ago. I I don't know. My videos were really bad though, 
and it was in the summer, and I, it was when I was playing Happy Wheels very frequently, before I even had a thumbnail for Happy Wheels, uh, and everything was bad, but I was getting an average, like, lowest of 2,000 views per video. Uh, I would usually get around 4,000, uh, and on a good day, 5,000 even. Well, no, no, I don't think I've ever gotten 5,000 on a video. My highest video has 6,000, though, and that was also, consequently, my worst video, <laughs> I feel. Um, and so, yeah, that's just a sort of, like, I mean, they weren't horrible. They were still watchable, for sure. But, uh, YouTube was definitely a lot more lenient with how much they wanted to promote you, and they were less greedy, so they didn't only just promote the people who give them the most money. Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 please, oh, oh, this is going to get annoying if I can't do this. I just sort of need to remember to bunny hop. I actually, hold up a second, I'm gonna read, I'm gonna do this with, um, with not the Phoenix, because this that bike is not fast enough for this, and it's also very bouncy. I'm gonna do this with the Scorpion, my favorite. Well, what used to be my favorite bike uh, back on Xbox. It was my favorite bike until I got used to the Phoenix, and then I realized that the Phoenix was superior. But the reason why I'm choosing the Scorpion is because its top speed is higher, and it's also a million times less bouncy. So I think I will be a lot better. Like, yeah, this, this definitely feels more like a dirt bike handling-wise. It doesn't feel like a freaking I don't know what it is. But you can even tell just from the suspension, it's a lot better for this. <laughs> So yeah, we're using the Scorpion. Nice red and fiery. Oh god, and it even looks like a dirt bike. I don't know what the heck is up with the Phoenix. <laughs> I'm excited to see what the bikes are in Trials Fusion because uh, I'm, I'm always looking forward to unlocking the next bike and stuff or unlocking the next character or just unlocking in games, which actually unfortunately has become increasingly rarer unlocking stuff. It's always like things are unlocked and you need DLC. <laughs> uh, but one game that does unlocking kind of well is ironically Call of Duty because you need DLC for that too. Uh, when Call of Duty was good I was always looking forward to unlocking the next weapon. But the reason why I didn't say they did it really good and only pretty well is because um, you, you didn't get like they unlocked random guns for you like, and not the gun that you want. <laughs> so you could be, you could prefer assault rifles, but you'd unlock a sniper rifle, shotgun, submachine gun, submachine gun, sniper rifle, before finally unlocking the assault rifle. And maybe that added to the excitement of unlocking to me, because the longer you have to wait for something, kind of the better it is. But then you get into the whole debate of, oh, no, no, pay to win free to play games. Kind of like Trials, or, sorry, not Trials like uh, Tribes Ascend, because as much as I love that game, I've put countless hours into that game, and I've only unlocked a weapon by buying it. And I didn't buy it, I actually liked their Facebook page, and that gave me enough uh, tokens or whatever it is to uh, buy a pistol, and I liked the pistol quite a bit. Oh, I also bought, I think I, I did something else to get tokens, I didn't spend actual money. Because I don't, I've never spent actual money. The only time I've ever bought a DLC <laughs> was, uh, well, one was for Little Big Planet because the DLC was amazing and I, I love supporting that game because it was like my favorite game for a really long time. Um, and two, I also bought the Call of Duty Ghost uh, Snoop Dogg announcer pack for my 420th sub special. But that was just for laughs. I've never actually legitimately bought something for a game outside of Little Big Planet. Um, but they did their DLC right, man. You got content when you bought it. Like, it was either a new costume, costume, costume for really decently priced, uh, decently priced price, or it was an entire new thing, like water. They gave you water and a whole new sort of campaign to go with it and stuff. It was great. You got a lot for very little with, deal with DLC and Little Big Planet, and I loved it. Oh no, oh no, maybe the Phoenix is what I need. Oh yeah, I, I, I need the Phoenix. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The Phoenix is, the Phoenix is just where it's at, you know? I can't, I can't do it without my Phoenix, baby. And plus, it's also purple. It's my favorite color. And I made it that way for a reason. <laughs> and it matches my guy and everything. I can do this with the Phoenix. It's, I've done it before. I mean, if I can beat it, that means it's possible to do it without faults. So, oh yeah, this just feels a lot better, actually. Even the bounciness and stuff. 
you know, I was praising the other one, but once you get back to this one, if you're used to it, it just feels a lot better. <laughs> it's a lot more maneuverable. And also, the acceleration on it makes it seem a lot faster, because top speed doesn't really matter in this game as much as acceleration does, because uh, most of the time you're going to be stopping and going and stopping and going a lot, so you can't, you don't, you don't really have time to reach your top speed that much. Oh gosh! Uh, yeah, and top speed is the only stat that isn't maxed out on this. And you don't need it to be, because you got bunny ops and all these things that you can use to overcome. Oh, yeah, which is why I could- Oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> I was close, I sort of smacked my face on that. Oh, man. Doing this with zero faults is turning out to be quite the challenge. But that's okay, I'm, I'm okay with the challenge, and being that this is the finale, I need it to be epic, and uh, I'm not willing to just do this last level again and say, hey, I did it. I want to do something unique, because I already beat this. Oh, no. Oh, that's what I was talking about when I was talking about the nasty floor and stuff. It was sticky, you saw. I landed, but my wheel got stuck in it. It was stupid. Front flip for the win. Okay, the front flips are dangerous. We want to keep those to a minimum. Oh, nice. Okay, so we are good. Oh, no, no. What the heck? Oh, that was stupid. I leaned forward just as my back tire hit something, which made me fling forward, and I couldn't do anything about it. Oh, front flip again, because front flips are cool. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. What the heck? Oh, that was dumb. Let's keep those front flips to a, uh, I said keep them to a minimum, but let's just keep them to a zero, because I think that's the safest thing we can do. <laughs> I don't want to die, mama. I want to do this without any faults. Uh, speaking of completing a series, or I guess series in general, I'm going to start Trials Fusion, as I've said already, but I'm also going to start something else, uh, and that's going to be awesome because I needed a second playthrough of that game in the first place, and I want to tell you what it is, but uh, I don't think I should. <laughs> I think I'll keep it a secret. I think you guys will like it. I think you'll be excited for it. Uh, it's a really, really good game. I'll give you a hint. It's, um... Hmm. Uh, if you are an epic decipherer that is like, checks out the Call of Duty trailers and learns exactly what's gonna be on the game from like a 30 second trailer, uh, <laughs> then you'll be able to get this hint. Franchise! So just do your Illuminati conspiracy theories and you'll most likely be right if, uh, if franchise comes to mind. Well, actually, that's kind of vague. Okay, I'll do it. I'll do- I'll give another hint. I'm trying to think of one that's not too obvious. Okay, uh, hmm. I have franchise, so that's good. I'll do franchise and, uh, hmm. Well. Whoa! I can't think of another hint that won't make it obvious, because I've got two in mind that I would say, but that would just give it away. Uh, and that would defeat the whole purpose of me being all sneaky about this. <laughs> um, or cryptic. But I can't think of another hint. Good hints are actually really hard to think of. Oh, man. Uh, oh! Ah! I know! Okay, good hint. So, franchise and steampunk. There we go. That's good. I think that that will require at least a little bit of thinking, because I don't, I don't want my hints to be like, oh, it's that's the second I say it. <laughs> so franchise and steampunk. Oh no, no! Oh, that screwed me over <laughs> so badly. That was dumb. <laughs> There's no way I. Whoa! Holy freaking cow! Whoa! Super speed! What the heck was that? Did you see that? <laughs> I haven't lagged like that since before I got my new computer. Well, hopefully that means the stupid render, or I mean texture pop-in goes away. All that lag was just it fixing itself, hopefully. But gosh, that was pretty bad. <laughs> that was like really, really bad. <laughs> my DX Tori was like, yeah, dude, you're getting no frames per second right now. Oh, oh man, my future me got past myself. My throat and mouth is getting a little bit sore from talking a bunch, because keep in mind, I already recorded uh, today, like in a span of no breaks in between, I recorded the, the episode that I thought it was the finale, which was like 25 minutes. Uh, the episode that I wasn't recording in, which was like 27 minutes, and this one. So I've been talking for an hour straight, just constantly talking. 
<laughs> there's so much talking to be done, you know? Oh, I'm glad there's virtually infinite subjects to talk about. I mean, even though if it takes a little bit to think about it, if you really think hard, you can think about anything to talk about, I say, as I'm running out of things to talk about. Ah, <laughs> It's always, it's, it's, it's very common in this game, isn't it? I don't know if I already, ah, no. See the, that's where this chat gets you. You stop, you zone out because it's so long and you're trying to get zero faults on it. So you're, it's not hard enough to keep your attention. So you start zoning out and then you just start gently leaning back. <laughs> we need to be leaning forward. Um, uh, and, but yeah, with this series, if I didn't already say this, I'm not sure. It's always just either me talking about a subject, and then me running out of subjects to talk about, and then me just making random grunts <laughs> at the game to try and be funny. Oh, oh! Because as an improvisational comedian, I need to I need to do whatever I can to keep you guys entertained constantly. And one of the reasons why I like uh, recording Goat Simulator. Oh, oh no, no. Uh, uh, my hands are so sweaty. I wish I had water with me. I want to drink or something. But uh, yeah, the reason why I like recording Goat Simulator is because I get to not talk for a long period of time since that's edited and I can just cut that out. It's something like trials like this. Uh, I have to talk forever and my tongue gets all sore. <laughs> oh, okay. So, oh, oh, yeah. Uh, uh, this will be the first series that I have ever completed, as I have stated. Um, and that's just sort of because I forget about, um, I, I forget about my other series, or I just, like, uh, get caught up with series that are never ending, like Goat Simulator or Happy Wheels, because those are fun. Oh, come on! That was stupid. Uh, but yeah, if you have a recommendation, just feel, super feel free to leave it down in the comments below of something you want to see. Because, like, I love having people be, like, uh, interested in my series and be like, Hey, I like that series a lot. Where did it go? And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know anyone liked it. Uh, and it's great because it's a win-win. I feel good about myself and you get, to, uh, you get to get what you want. Because every single time anyone has ever, like, um, ha has ever recommended something to me, which has been, like, a four or five times in my entire quote unquote career it's not not really a career oh, i mean it can be I, I i i just recently got partnered which is awesome i might make an announcement video about that but anyways uh i've only gotten recommendations that many times so no one said more this game and that might seem like it's a little bit greedy when you when on your perspective but trust me i love it and i i'm assuming that other commentators would love it when you say more of this series too because it shows that you care so yeah, leave comments, it'll be a win-win, and I will record it the second I get a re recommendation, which is what I have done every other time. I'm not sure if I said that or not. <laughs> oh. oh man, I think I got a text message. Oh, how unprofessional of me to say that. <laughs> I turned my phone on mute for a reason. Oh man, that felt good, that front flip. Oh. Okay. I like the music though, it's very chill, just like this map. Like this map is definitely, if you're not trying to get zero faults. Oh! What? Error occurred? You cannot experience some online features without a connected UBI server's connection to- Oh god dang it! Ubisoft! You messed me up! I was doing so good! I'll just play offline! Don't alert me of that when I'm in the middle of a race! Unless I'm in an online race! Racing online people! Why the heck would you tell me that? You evil, evil- Ugh! Oh. You don't do that. Rule number one, don't interrupt people in the middle of the game for something that's super pointless. That's so... Oh, that was... Oh, I'm okay. <laughs> I mean, it, I, I'm already back to where I was, basically. So, in the time I spent complaining, I got back to where I was. Thanks, complaining. You always help people out. Ah. Oh, the roof of my mouth is starting to itch. <laughs> so much... Oh, that... Oh, <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a little bit of a break. I'll be right back. <laughs> that was so bad. Did you see my bike got stuck in the floor? Okay. 
I'll be right back. I need to rest of my mouth a little bit. <laughs> okay, we are we are back. I uh, took a drink of some ice cold. Um, what is it? The Hubert's Hubbard's brand mango lemonade. Sponsor me, please. You're delicious. Uh, went to the bathroom. I took care of all my vitals. Got hydrated. My hands are no longer sweaty. Talked to the Tufty Womble over Twitter for a little bit. And I'm totally good now. I'm not angry in the slightest, and my mouth feels great. So, <laughs> let's continue this. Speaking of the Tufty Womble, the, uh... You might have the blah, blah, the elusive Duffy Womble. You might have remembered we did it. It's your boy podcast uh, that was going to be a series a while ago. Well, that will hopefully be continuing soon because I'm on summer break. He's about to be on summer break, and that makes it so we could both record. Because the main reason why we didn't do that is we were both super busy with schoolwork, especially him because he's his, his last year of school before he goes to university. And then he's in Australia, and Australia is different than American high school because American high school, its freshman year is supposed to be easy, but for some people it's really hard if they did really, really good in the eighth grade. Uh, sophomore year is supposed to be kind of difficult or hard. For me, it was the, my hardest year ever. It was so hard because I took all of the hardest classes to get them out of the way. Junior year is supposed to be really, really hard. Uh, mine was really easy up until the middle, like, right, uh, and then it was easy-ish again, and then it was really hard right at the end, um, like, right before finals, because they thought it would have, it would have, I cannot speak, I'm so sorry, please excuse my stupidness, but anyways, so they thought it was a good idea right before finals to assign a bunch of projects and review sheets and stuff, so that's why I didn't record videos for a while in that sort of time for area that I didn't record for a while in. Um, dang, these breaks are impressive. <laughs> It's just because schoolwork is messing me up. Um, and yeah, so uh, senior year is supposed to be the easiest in, uh, in American high school. It's supposed to be just the uh, mess around, push over year, and that, like, you don't do anything really. In Australia, however, the senior, I don't think it's called senior year, but the last year is the hardest because you're preparing for university and it makes sense that it's the hardest. It gets gradually harder as it goes along and it seems like their gradual increase of difficulty is a lot better than America's uh, super, super, super easy difficulty spike, Rel uh, medium difficulty, medium difficulty, difficulty spike, hard, 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 difficulty spike, extremely impossible, extremely impossible, extremely Extremely impossible graduation and uh, those difficulty spikes are at 6th grade, 8th uh, grade, and then or at 9th or 10th grade, or I mean 10th or 11th grade, so yeah, uh, those difficulty spikes are bad, it's where they get you, like, if you, you can see it, uh, but I think Australia's is a lot better, I think they do it the way it's supposed to be done, like they gradually increase it, uh, which is good! Things, especially school, shouldn't have difficulty spikes. It should be gradual so you get used to it. Oh, man. Yeah, there's no time to get used to it in an American schooling system. Unless you're really good at school. And some people are. But most people aren't very good at school. And I'm one of those people. And, I mean, I guess if I liked it, I could be good at it. But, I mean, it's just, it's not of any use to me. I know, in the long run... Well, in the long run, it's not of any use to me, but I know in terms of colleges and stuff, it's I need to get good grades, which is why I try. But, I mean, if it didn't matter to my life, I wouldn't try. It doesn't... Even if I do try, nothing really changes. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. I don't like school. You know me and my school. If you've seen my Under the Beanie video, I talk about everything there that I don't like about it. And I would talk about what I liked about it, but there's nothing that pertains to only school that I do like about it, because... As an introvert, meeting new people isn't especially a good thing for me. I mean, it's not a bad thing, but, I mean, it's kind of neutral. I like to keep my friend count to a minimum so I can be as intent with them as I possibly can, and also to make sure that I have the best of, like, all of my friends are my best friends. Oh, gosh. Um, so, yeah, meeting new people isn't necessarily a good thing to me, but it's not really a bad thing anyways, either. Uh, 
it's, and also the fact that you're around a bunch of people is a negative too, so I really don't like, uh, school. <laughs> I don't think there's any aspect of it that I do like. I, I suppose I could find some. Let's do that, you know? It's really, really good to be optimistic. That's what you gotta be in this world, and I like to consider myself as much of an optimist as I can possibly be, so let's, let's find the good things in school, shall we? Hmm. Hmm. Uh... It gives you work ethic? I mean, I suppose you can get that outside of school, maybe doing, I don't know, what you actually want to do. So, that's not a good thing. Uh, uh, <laughs> um, we already went over meeting new people, which you can also do outside of school if you want to. Uh, it gives you, teaches you responsibility, which you would learn how to have by doing the things you need to have responsibility for. Okay, that's also not a good thing. Uh, gosh. I mean, if you like school, go ahead and like it. That's obviously the better thing to do. Liking school is much better than not liking it because you have to do it. So if you like, that's awesome. And don't listen to my negativity. But I just, I can't find anything. I'm tr I was trying to. I'm being serious. I was actually trying to find something that was good about it. But I, I can't do it. If you could find something that's good about it, please tell me in the comments below. Uh, but I, I don't know. There's just way more negative than positive, if there is even any positive. <laughs> to me, anyways, because, oh, we all live in our own realities, really. Perspective is reality, there's not really any difference, so. Oh! You live in your perspective, and uh, if you like school, and if you can find good things about it that you like about it, then go for it, you know? I would really like to like school, because that would just make my life a lot easier if I liked it. <laughs> oh, yeah, but, I don't even know why the heck I'm talking about school. I'm in the frickin' summer! And you're probably nearing the summer, too. So, I mean, and plus, you get away from the school by watching YouTube videos. So I'm sorry for talking about it, I really am. It just came up, because talking about the Tufty Womble, and it's him and school are, like, mortal enemies. Like, more so than I and school are. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Epic jump. Nice. Oh, man. But, yes, I do miss doing columns with him and talking to him. The last time I talked to him, it was going to be in a, uh, oh, no, no, gosh dang it. I was expecting, that was kind of my fault. I, I forgot to bunny hop. Uh, but the last time we did talk, it was in a group chat that, uh, was going to be a, uh, uh Three Wombla Tears, which is another channel that's going to be active again during the summer. Um, if you don't know what the Three Wombla Tears is, it's a Tricom channel with me, Thievable, and Bullcut Johnny. Uh, <clears throat> I'll post a link to the channel in the description. We only have a couple videos. We only have one legitimate video, which is our first video. Uh, but, uh, yeah, uh, that will be happening in the summer as well. This summer, a lot of things are going to go on. And also, this summer, my channel is going to be more cartoon-oriented. And yes, that's not other people uploading cartoons. I'm actually, I mean, I wouldn't really call myself a cartoonist, but I'm an animator. Uh, I guess cartoonist works too, because I do traditional 2D. I don't use any, like, so that means every single thing you do, like anything that moves, is just hand-drawn. So basically every, every single, uh, frame is hand-drawn. Uh, and that's what I do. I like doing that. It's very tedious, but it's ridiculously rewarding, and I also love drawing, and it lets me draw my heart out. <laughs> So, yeah, I've been, I'm working on a couple projects. Uh, you've seen my Tufty Womble animation preview. If, <laughs> I'm, I said you've seen it. Um, I did a Tufty Womble animation preview because I'm doing an animation for him, which is, I want to say almost done, but it's not. It's not nearly almost done. <laughs> I'm on, I'm not even to frame 1,000 yet, and it's 3,000 frames, which is 3,000 individual pictures that you have to draw, basically. Pro uh, probably a lot less because you do double framing a lot, which is just basically when, um... Because usually in animation, there's 24 frames per second. So, every second there's 24 pictures that go in. A lot of the times, unless you're doing fast-moving things, you're double framing. Um, so that means instead of 24 frames per second, there will be 12 frames per second. Um, and it doesn't look laggy. Because in video games, if you had 12 per frames per second, that would look awful. But in animation, I don't know, it, it just it doesn't for some reason. It just looks good. Uh, <laughs> and it's not being lazy, it's just if everything was 24 frames per second, everything would look too fast and it would look nasty. Uh, so yeah, it's probably more along the lines of 
2,000 to, uh, to 1,700 frames, the Tufty Womble animation that I need to get done. Uh, so I am excited to be finishing that. I'm also started a Markiplier animation. Um, and all of these are basically, I'm, I'm not going to be starting my, I don't know if I should, yeah, I've already announced this over my Tumblr, but I have a, uh, series-ish that I've had, um, like a webcomic, not a webcomic, I'm stupid, an actual comic that I've had since the fifth grade called Zinc and the Boss, and my friend Smith and I made this whole universe. And uh, I won't give the details about it because you can, I'll post a link in the description as well to my sort of the story about the very first thing. Oh, oh god. Oh, yeah, that was sick. Uh, but the very first, like the origins of Zing and the Boss, uh, it's basically a script for the first episode. But I won't be doing that until I feel my animation and art style is good enough because I really want to make that work very well. I also don't have any voice actors. So if you have a really good voice, if you sound like a 16-year-old Caucasian male that's really, in, um, what's the word, enthusiastic and happy all the time, but if you can also get really, really angry, That'd be cool, because there's some story elements in that that I don't really want to say. Uh, and if you want to voice act, that's cool too. I would... I'm not sure how I would pay you, really, honestly. Um, because I suppose I'd create a new channel and oh, have my bank account, have like a separate thing, maybe open up a separate, separate bank account. Uh, and have the funds from that go to there and then give you a cut if you would like to be paid for it But don't expect a lot because I'm not expecting it to be popular. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's good I'm not gonna lie about that. It's it's very fleshed out because it's been going since the fifth grade And I have just graduated the 11th grade. It's a very long time and I've been av actively making that all those years There's piles of comics that I've made um, So it's 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 good <laughs> Uh, and I think I've gotten my writing skills down to a level where it's enjoyable enough. So I think I have every element besides my animation up to par with what I want the show to be. Like, I'm not saying it, it'll be Adventure Time levels or anything, but I really want it to be like that because that, that would just be great. Uh, oh, and even better if it's good enough, like, this is extremely wishful thinking and this isn't likely at all, but if it's good enough, maybe I could get it on some sort of channel, like maybe even, um, what's it called? This one, uh, it's the, sorry, <laughs> it's the, uh, it's the, I can't think, I make that sound when I can't think, okay? It's the, the channel where Bravest Warriors is on. I can't think of the name, but it, uh, if they accept my cartoon, I would be ecstatic. I would be set, man. I don't even think I would have to, like, do anything. Because, well, I mean, obviously, I would continue pers to pursue it. Because for my actual career, career, I want to be a cartoonist. I don't know what I would cartoon for. Um, but I want to be a cartoonist. Like, this summer, I'm going to be doing a program where I, uh... Where I use it's this college, and it's a really, really, really good art college, and uh, they have the same exact uh, things that studios use to animate uh, in, and that's awesome. That'll be amazing training for my uh, potential future job as a cartoonist, because um, I only use Flash right now, and I love Flash so much. But I, they use something different, and I'm kind of scared to use something different because of how used to Flash I am. Uh, <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. Okay, that was good. Thanks, Hill. No. No! Oh, gosh. Dang it. Unrendered wood. You suck. Okay. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm excited for that, and that just shows you how serious I am, I guess, about animation. So, uh, I do have projects and scripts and all this stuff that I am working on, but you haven't really seen anything because cartooning takes an insane amount of time. The, uh, 15 second intro for Greasy Bacon I did, uh, 15 seconds, it took overnight. I started working at, I think, uh, 11, uh, p.m., and I got done at 8 40 a.m. and that was 15 seconds. Of course, I'm a lot faster and better now because I've done it a lot. Um, but that just sort of shows you how much time it takes. Because if you think about my average picture for my really... I'm not trying to boast about it. I'm just saying, like, for the pictures I put a lot of effort into it, my detailed pictures, um, I that, those take about four hours per piece. 
And in animation, of course, the pictures are less detailed unless you want to make them more detailed. Like the people who do anime, they're amazing. I have so much respect for people who do anime. But, uh, yeah, if you want to make them more detailed, then <laughs> just imagine four hours, 24 pictures. It's like, we'll just say it's one hour per detailed picture. Uh, and that's 24, so that's like 24 hours for a second. That is one entire full day, one entire Earth rotation of work <laughs> for one second of animation. If you're really, 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 really detailed. I don't do that much detail. I have, I'm lucky enough to have a simple art style. Oh man. Um, so I'm more about like, if I would say one second, I'm like, not 10 hours, I'm less than that, because my pictures, they're not near an hour when I draw one, uh, like one frame takes, I don't know, it doesn't matter, but it still takes a long time, is basically my point. <laughs> so, it'll be a while until you start seeing something, but just know that that's something I want to be doing in the future that I am doing in, right now. <laughs> yeah, so I am officially completely out of subjects to talk about. Uh, how's you guys this day? Was it good? My day was pretty good. I, besides the fact that I, I, I didn't record uh, the last episode. <laughs> but uh, that's okay. I basically did the last thing I wanted to do in terms of standard episodes last episode. Uh, and I wanted the finale to be special, so this one is special. Zero faults for the Giga Track? That's insane. Uh, <laughs> oh! oh man. Oh man. Oh man, see, so yeah, I'm kind of glad that I didn't do that, but I'm also kind of not, because that would have meant that I didn't have to get zero faults on the Giga Track, which would have made my life a million times easier, and also would have meant that I got to play Trials Fusion sooner, but that's being pessimistic, and all, none of that really matters to me, because I'm enjoying myself right now. <laughs> and that's all that matters. Oh gosh, oh, okay, that's good, that's good. Up, oh, please, there we go, we're good. No, no, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I'm gonna take a sip of my delicious ice cold Hubbard's mango lemonade. Uh, I will do that right now. <laughs> ah. And for potential endorsement possibilities, I will read the, uh, the bottom of the cap here. Containing this project, this project, containing this product may cause joy. Uh, quote, Hubbard's Lemonade 2014. So yeah, please sponsor me. Uh, <laughs> is that bad? I was just joking. I didn't, I'm not actually saying sponsor me, but if they did, that'd be great. I, was, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't do us any things that products that I like. I already kind of do with YouTubers. So I talk about YouTubers relatively frequently, not really frequently, but I do, I talk about videos that I like. Um. But I have nothing else to talk about, which primarily is just in this series. That was dumb. That was dumb. That was awesome. Thanks, map. <laughs> that was so close to death. Okay. All right. I'm doing this. I can feel it. This is going to be the run. I can feel this now. I'm paying attention. I'm totally in the game. I wasn't really focusing. I was kind of zoning out in these past times. I don't even know how many times I've faulted within the past sort of minutes because I've been telling stories and stuff. Oh, man. Excuse me. I have the lemonade, uh... Esophagus syndrome. <laughs> okay. For, please, excuse me again. Uh, I very politely belched, so that's why you didn't hear it. <laughs> I've mastered the art of doing that. Oh no! Yeah. Oh no! Okay. Just, just take it a little bath. Just take a bath, please. <laughs> we could have just stayed there and took a bath, dude, but you didn't want to. You wanted to. You want to wet your face and stuff. Oh, you're so frustrating to me sometimes, man. I thought that was going to be the run. I thought that was going to be the one, the run, the ones. Yeah. Oh, speaking of rap music, the music in the background doesn't have rap. I thought it did the last time I uh, I was doing this. Oh, oh, but it doesn't now. This is cool. This is a very calming track, as I stated before. I really like it. Okay. Front flip for, for joy, joy purposes, joyous purposes. <laughs> Okay, train don't hit me, please. Thank you very much. That sounded like it was coming near. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, I was saying uh-oh for no reason. Oh, okay, we're doing, we're doing really good. I think we have this unlocked now that I'm paying attention to my, uh, to my game. Those explosion sounds are just a little bit too delayed, don't you think? <laughs> oh, 
But, uh, yeah. Now that... Seriously? That was not cool, man. I thought... I thought we were cool, but that was definitely not cool. We need to be, like, the other side of the pillow. And right now, you're just caking me in a pile of my own sweat because you're not letting me turn over, you silly pillow. But you are still soft in providing me with comfort, you pillow, because this game is still fun. But you just, you just gotta be cool. You gotta be cool for maximum enjoyment, you know? Ah, and you're not being cool when you do stuff like that. When you let me save myself, that's pretty cool. I mean, but when you do stuff like this, that's just not cool. That's, oh, that is not cool, Beans. That is definitely not. <laughs> cool Beans is Hot Rod and uh, this game, Motorbikes. I love Hot Rod. That's actually my second favorite movie of all time. It's, if you haven't seen it, it's amazing. If you have Netflix, uh, watch it because it's on Netflix. If you don't have Netflix, get the free trial just to watch it if you haven't seen it because it's just, it's so underrated. It kind of bombed-ish at the box office and shut up! <laughs> shut up, Ubisoft! I don't care that I'm offline! I don't care! <laughs> I saved myself. Oh gosh, that was close. Yeah, stupid Ubisoft, you're not gonna mess me up. <laughs> But, anyways, yeah, Hot Rod is very underrated, so I'm guessing you haven't seen it. It's basically, like, an hour and a half long digital short, or, or uh, like, its editing style is that of a YouTube video, and that's what I love about it. It's just, uh, there is no other movie in the world that is like that, that I have ever heard of or seen or anything like that. It's just so unique, and it's so funny. Its humor is amazing. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, you might be wondering what my first favorite movie of all time is, and that's Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. I've been saving up and then failing by buying other things that I've been saving up for, uh, for the full-colored set of comics of Scott Pilgrim. Uh, cause I love Scott Pilgrim so much, and that movie introduced me to it, and it's like the best thing ever. <laughs> I love the, uh, there's also no other movie that I've seen that's like Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Because it's just, it's like a video game and a movie and it's just the best thing ever. Oh, and the comic looks awesome too. I love the art style. And I could have saved myself there. What? Oh, that was stupid. Oh, well. <laughs> it was my doing. No need to get mad over it. Oh. Uh, but uh, I think, like, the Adult Swim channel had a pilot episode for a potential Sp Scott Pilgrim cartoon they were doing. I think they had, like, three episodes or something. Uh, and that, that was really, really good. I wish they turned that into an actual show, and if they did, then I'm kind of silly for not knowing that, because I definitely would have watched it, even though I don't watch TV anymore. I actually started boycotting TV, or I actually did boycott TV once they canceled Flapjack. Oh, I miss that show so much. It was so good. That show is my childhood in my personality is like like I try to be flapjack That's what I want because he's just so happy and awesome and adventurous And he's not willing to like not do anything and he's just he's awesome I love flapjack so much and the show is the best thing ever. Oh god. Oh, no But I did discover that you can watch full flapjack episodes on the Cartoon Network site and I was super happy that you could do that um, even though I would be re-watching episodes, it's been a while since I've seen episodes because I hadn't watched it since they canceled it. And I found this YouTube channel that had uploaded every episode of Flapjack and every episode of Flapjack in Spanish, too. Uh, but that got taken down due to copyright claims, and I was expecting that to happen. Uh, oh man, so I'm really happy that Cartoon Network lets you watch the full episodes of Flapjack. Ugh. Oh, I, I, I've seen them play reruns, or heard them play reruns a couple times, like people say they play reruns, and I hope that's the show, or like the people, or, or like uh, the creator of the show, the best person ever, and he has a beard, because all awesome people have beards apparently, uh, <laughs> but I hope that was him trying to convince Cartoon Network to have him do the show more or something, or maybe he just didn't want to do it, uh, because like... If the reruns did good enough, because this happened to Family Guy, because I remember Family Guy got canceled and the reruns did really well, so they brought it back. Uh, so yeah, if the reruns do good enough, then they'll bring the show back, but I'm not sure how, how high of a chance that is of happening. Not a lot of people actually like Flapjack, and I'm really surprised at that. Like, I can understand why you don't like Chowder, because he's kind of annoying. Like, uh, the early episodes were good, because he wasn't annoying, but the, the latter episodes, he got really, really annoying. <laughs> 
Um, so I can see why people don't like Chowder. But Flapjack has always been cool. In early episodes, later episodes, I like all of them. Ugh! It's like all the good stuff always goes away. Like, in radio, the most popular song of a good band, if a good band is featured, which is very rare on a radio station, the most popular song, or the song that's featured on the radio, is always their worst one. Like, the one the band even admits to not really liking. Um, and I don't know why the heck that is. Like, there's songs that are just so technically bad, not even personal preference, like, legitimately bad, according to music theory and all this stuff, like, <laughs> drunk in love, <laughs> that are, like, topping and reaching millions of dollars for no effort from anyone there. It, uh, oh, no! Ah! But I am glad that Macklemore got popular because... He deserves it. He's really cool. <laughs> oh, except I don't really like Can't Hold This. I'm not a fan of that song. It's too, uh... It's, it's... I, I don't know what it's too much of. It's just too much of something. <laughs> I don't like it. Oh, I mean, I, I, I don't not like it. I just, I'm not a fan of it. Uh, oh, but Macklemore's awesome. I love all his other songs. Ugh. Especially, I know I'm gonna sound stupid for saying this, but especially Thrift Shop, even though that is his most popular song. Ugh. I should say I'm gonna sound stupid for, to hipsters for saying this. <laughs> uh, because not liking, or not being allowed to like a song just due to that fact that it's the most popular one is stupid. You should be able to like whatever you want as long as you're thinking for yourself. Uh, uh, but yeah, that's that's that that song's really good. <laughs> oh man! Oh, and it also introduced me to Bart Baker, who is the greatest parody maker of all time. He's so funny. Oh no! Gosh dang it! How, am I ever gonna do this? I think I really, really, really need to put on my try-hard pajamas on. I mean, I'm already wearing my pajamas inside into my life right now. <laughs> so I just need to turn them into the try-hard pajamas that they oh so desperately need to be in order for me to complete this to zero faults because gosh dang, I could tell this has been going on for a very long time. And I need to make sure that this doesn't surpass an hour's length. Or maybe it should be an hour-long special for the finale. All right, let's make sure this surpasses an hour's long length, which it probably already has. Uh, <laughs> oh no, oh no, gosh, dang it. Uh, I'm gonna, okay, this time, this is the freaking time. I'm actually doing this. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna, there's gonna be some pauses because I'm gonna be focusing because I can't just like, like right there, I stopped focusing because I focused on talking, but I'm gonna focus so hard. So I'm just gonna commentate on what the game is doing. So I'm, there's gonna be a lot of grunts and me going saying up and stuff, but that's just how it's gotta be, you know? It's just how it's gotta be. I could, you could do anything, you put your mind to it and I'm putting my mind to this right now. So let's do this. Urgh! Yes. Okay, you can already tell just from that erg, and yes, that the, the commentary quality has depleted significantly. That's okay. All we need to worry about right now is beating this level. Is just beating the stupid level, the giga track. It's so, I understand Immortal's pain now. I actually had to take a break. He didn't seem to have the liberty of doing that. <laughs> and I don't think he succeeded in, in his goal of doing it, so. I will be one of the very few who succeed in completing this with no faults. Ah, oh, not even one. I was gonna allow myself one, but then I remembered that this is the finale. No, no, no. Yeah, suck it. So what the heck is wrong with my arms? Oh my god, <laughs> my arms. <laughs> they were so messed up. Okay, that's okay. No one needs non-broken arms, anyways. <laughs> you can see my determination. Just. Okay. 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 All right. That's a, that that that. But that 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 was better. That was better than how we we have been doing. We got pretty far, but uh, we can do it. I mean, in the long run, this map. Uh, and, and when you take all of it in consideration, I'm stumbling because I'm so mad right now. <laughs> that really, that was that angered me quite a bit. Uh, but. I, I can, I, it's, uh, in the long run, we did get that far, but we got, did a good job, so, I mean, I guess it's bad, I mean, not a bad thing that we didn't get very far, because that way we don't have to retrace our tracks that much, 
But we could do this. Zero faults. I'm better now. I am definitely sweating, though. I am, like, just a giant pile of wetness right now due to how much I am sweating. I hope you like that uh, visual. <laughs> but it's just, it's so hard. And all of this talking, it's so, it's so rough on, I feel like I've been chewing gum for a really long time. <laughs> My jaw muscles are going to be stronger than that of uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger's biceps in Terminator. Or, no, sorry, not Terminator, in uh, Conan the Barbarian. <laughs> Oh man, that's when they were really giants. Oh gosh, he used to be a bodybuilder. Oh, and, and like something like that. Now he was all black. <laughs> that doesn't matter. It, it's just it's whatever you choose to do that you want to do with your body. It's, uh, oh, oh no, no, no. It's, it doesn't even affect me negatively now. It's just, it's just I feel nothing anymore. <laughs> I understand the struggles uh, of of people who. who you play this game so much that they feel nothing when they fail. It's just, you grow numb. You get desensitized to it. You don't even care that much anymore. I'm gonna take another drink of my no longer- Oh god, I just dropped my controller. I'm not ready! Don't ask me if I'm ready. But I'm gonna take another drink of my Herbert's Lemonade. I'm just gonna take a swig. It'll bring happiness to me. It's no longer ice cold, but uh, I'll drink it anyways. Ah. Excuse me. I know it's, uh, not very professional, uh, but gosh dang it, if I'm gonna be doing the Giga Track with no faults, you gotta have me, uh, you gotta lend me a little bit of, uh, you know, leeway, because this is, well, it's kind of sour, but <laughs> this is quite the, the, the feat. I think this is more of a feat. Than the time I got first place world worldwide on a popular map on the Xbox version, which I then got blown out of the water by people who were better than me, of course. Uh, but yeah, this is more of a feat than that. Um, probably more of a feat than the above the clouds thing, because I was doing that for a really long time. But this just seems like it takes longer. All right, I'm gonna, oh, I kind of want to sit back in my chair, but then I'd far, I'd far like I was sound, I'd sound like I was far from the mic. So, uh, yeah, I gotta keep a little bit of an attentiveness here. Oh, man. Okay, we're good. We're good. I am on the edge of my seat for maximum attention payingness. Okay, I feel good about it now. I've reached Nirvana, actually, to the point of no suffering or pain. I have done it. I am totally fine. The sweating has turned into a warm comfort, like a heated blanket. And, uh, you know, I am just feeling chills all over. I'm, I'm good. I am at peace with the fact that I suck at this game. And, uh, maybe then, now that I'm at peace with that, I can be good at this game. Okay, we're good. Oh! Oh, yes! Thank you very much, game! I really, really appreciate it, the fact that you gave me a second chance there. I didn't want to restart from that point again. Oh, oh, I really didn't. I didn't want to do it. Not, not at all. Because <laughs> I've been failing at that point for quite a while now. And, uh, yeah, so right now we're about done with the first quarter of the map. Just about once we get past this area just almost there. Yeah, this map, I keep saying map, it's track! This is not Call of Duty! <laughs> this track um, is very, very long. Very long. It's so long, in fact, that the game actually turns from daytime to uh, dusk. In the game, the farther you get through the track. So yeah, it's pretty long. I mean, this would be happy fun times if you were, uh, if you were doing this in real life, or if you were just doing this to calm. Stay calm, stay calm, stay calm, stay calm, stay calm! <laughs> okay, I, I've, I'm not in Nirvana anymore. I am angry <laughs> again. <laughs> I, I... I don't even have any words. I'm seriously speechless. The only thing I can talk about is how I'm speechless right now because I am speechless. Oh, okay. This is hard. Not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. If you've watched this far, you are a gentleman. 
If you're a lady and you've watched this far, I'm going to marry you. <laughs> Because, gosh dang, I don't know how long I've been recording, but it doesn't even feel like I'm recording anymore. It just feels like I'm talking as though I am trying to convince myself that I'm still sane or something. Which is counterintuitive, of course, because if you're talking to yourself and trying to convince yourself that you're sane by talking to yourself, uh, in terms of social norms, that was lag, uh, you're, you are insane, but, uh, I don't, I don't think... I don't think so. I don't really think there's such thing as insane unless you really don't listen to logic or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, um, what was I saying? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not insane. I'm not insane. I don't like that song. I miss old Adventure Sevenfold. Oh, old Adventure Sevenfold was the days. Ugh! Oh, like, like, uh, I love old Adventure Sevenfold so much that I actually know. Um, most of the solo to Beast and the Harlot on guitar. I do play guitar, I don't know if I've said that, but I know it and I've tried very hard to, to learn it because it's a very, very hard solo. Oh, I'm not good at it by any means. I mean, in terms of how picky guitar players are, like, oh man, you're so sloppy, you didn't play it with soul. I don't know, I just view playing instrument as playing an instrument. I mean, <laughs> it's, if, it, if you could do it, it usually sounds good. Oh God. But, Guitar experts are going to disagree with me on that, but whatever. I just do it for fun. I'm not like I'm in a band or anything. But yeah, I, I can I can do it most of it. Anyways, I, I it's hard. The hardest part about doing oh god, I stopped paying attention. Did you see that? <laughs> the hardest part about doing really difficult solos like that is remembering where all the notes are. <laughs> Like, that's seriously the hardest part. Learning it is pretty difficult, too, but just memorizing where everything is is really hard. Oh! Yeah! Nice. Okay, we're good there. Okay, now this part coming up is the part I always mess up on. It's the part I haven't gotten past in this video, and that's this part. Okay! Bunny hop. Bunny hop wasn't good. Wasn't good. Why am I not making that? I am so confused and very concerned at the fact that I'm not making that because I made that every single time I've played this up until this episode. I haven't gone past that once, and I don't know why. Am I not going fast enough? Maybe I just need to put more of an emphasis on going super sanic speed. I, I don't know. I don't know what's up with that. I just, I bunny hopped. I did the best I could. Okay, I just gotta go super sanic speed. You see, like, I'm obviously not going as fast as I was before, or maybe I am now, but, ah. Uh. I, I need to go as fast as I possibly can because I don't know why I'm taking so slowness. Maybe the red and the purple in my motorbike and costume is taking over, so I'm going slow like Knuckles and not fast like Sanic. But, um, I need to go fast like Sanic. That is what I need to do. Another Sanic reference. Yes, I know it's so funny. <laughs> I think so. I love Sanic. Gotta go fast. It's just, it's funny. Ah! Okay. Just take your time. We can we can go slow anywhere else that isn't that part. Cause it's just that part is so mean. I don't know why it won't let us get past it, but it's quite annoying. It's quite irritating. Yes, it is. Ah. Okay. Before down and successfully again run out of things to talk about. Uh. So I, I'm I'm just going to choose to focus on the game now. Oh. Okay. Good. Ah. All right, I, I apologize. At, at least one point in the video, the commentary quality is going to dip, and I guess that's this point. Ah! So enjoy my grunts, uh, brought to you by um, nobody. <laughs> ah, yeah. Okay, so I just need to make sure that I think I, I really think speed is what I need because I tried bunny hopping and it didn't work on that part and I don't know why I've gone past that part like it wasn't even a thought in other other times I played this but it, it is now and I okay I uh I lost what I was what I was saying um a flash of anger just came over me and wiped my memory within the past three seconds. So I don't know what I was saying. If I was saying anything important, I apologize. But uh, blame this game, because uh, I didn't feel like that was my fault. <laughs> I mean, I guess it was. I could have made that by bunny hopping, but uh, 
it's, it's difficult, you know? It's more difficult having to commentate and play than it is just playing, especially if you're trying to get zero faults on the, on the, uh, mm, really. That's very, that's very interesting, game. Tell me more about how much you hate me. <laughs> I, I, I love you, game. I mean, you are great, but you are not great to me. This is definitely an abusive relationship. This game just doesn't feel it's necessary to take care of me. If I get out of line, it slaps me. And, uh, you know, I'm excited for fusion. I feel that fusion will be a little bit better to me. Uh, <laughs> uh, than, than evolution. And, uh, yes, I really hope it is. I think just the fact that they chose, like, a natural dirt trail for this level makes it uh, a lot harder because it's not as consistent or stable than wood is like any or, or concrete or whatever they like to use um that isn't natural material because this is just ridiculous Ugh. at how much i die when i feel like it's not my fault <laughs> yeah there's times i die when i feel like it's my fault but most of the time, I die when I feel like it is not my fault. And I know it is my fault, but you know, if you're a gamer, you know there's times when you die and you feel like it's BS. And that's a lot of the times in this game. Okay, make it straight over that. That was good. That was fantastic. Oh, I'm just gonna bunny hop every jump from now on just so I can get far. Just to make sure. Just to make a habit out of it. Because. There's no time in this map where you really need to go slow, or like, I'm, I'm holding down the throttle constantly. I haven't let off once. <laughs> oh, except for there, because my finger got, got tired and I had to itch my face. Oh, but uh, yeah, you don't really need to slow down. Oh, okay, well maybe there. On the hill climbs, maybe, but other than that, you're, you're good to go. So uh, why was I saying that? I was saying that for some reason. Oh, no, 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 please, please, thank you very much, okay. <laughs> See, it's all just about paying attention. You just gotta pay attention. Go fast like Sanic. Oh, nice. Okay, we're good there. Okay, the part is coming up and my thumb is sweaty. That's not good. I need grip on that thumb stick. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh, no, I didn't make it. I didn't make it. I can feel, why am I not making it? I don't, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna see. I'm not gonna complete the map by, uh, without getting this perfectly, but I just, I just want to see why I am not making it. I want to get this down because I don't want to restart the whole thing without, without knowing why. Just go straight, maybe? Just go. Okay, well that seemed a little bit better when I was trying, when, when I wasn't bunny hopping. Maybe that's just what I need to do. Maybe this map is not a bunny hopping type of map. Maybe I just need to take everything and roll with it like nature rolls with everything else. Okay, so I'm just gonna let go and see how I do. Awfully, okay. I don't know why I'm not making it. Is the, did the Phoenix Evo slow down? Did that jump get bigger? Cause I definitely made that in the last time I recorded this, but didn't record this because I messed up. Um, and, and didn't press record on my voice, as I've said. Ah! Okay, front flipping seems to be the key there. I'm just gonna try it one more time with the flip and uh, hope that I, I do it. That ramp right there, the one I just went over, is a jerk. <laughs> I'm gonna try it with the flip and see if I need to flip, because as I said in the last episode, front flips always help. Ah! Okay, well, maybe, maybe, let's just try that once more. I know I'm kind of wasting your time, but I would be wasting your time a lot longer if I didn't figure this stuff out, because this is just silly. This is the silliest thing in the world. It is so zany and wacky and nutty. I don't even know how to react to it. Okay, front, okay. So the front thing, front flip thing doesn't seem to be working out very well. I'm just trying to figure out how to do it. Excuse me, but I really need to know because I apparently suck a lot more than I did last. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah, okay. That seemed like luck, but if I made it once, I know I can make it, so I'm good enough. I am totally fine. I just need to do the bunny hop. I was right the whole time. I just need to time it correctly. So, bunny hops are key, are key, are key and it's always the death of me. I'm okay with hill climbs, but I'm okay with bunny hops. But uh, you can't really bunny hop that because it goes into a curve. Like, the thing with bunny hops is you, you sort of bounce off your back tire and you make your back tire a trampoline. But if it's curved like that, you don't really have anything to, you don't really have any grip. You sort of slip off of it. Uh, 
Oh man, it sucked. I kind of want to take another break. <laughs> I'm not going to until I really need it, though, because. Oh man, I am sweating so much. It's so bad. I, like, my hair is actually sticking to my forehead. I, I'm sorry for the visual, but that's that's, uh, that's how much I'm sweating. I mean, I'm wearing deodorant, so I don't smell bad, but uh, it's, uh, it's a lot of sweat. It's, it's uh, um, a very uh, good amount. No, not good. It's not the word I was looking for. Formidable formidable amount of sweat. Sweat you are for more formidable opponent. Uh, no, it's not formidable. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's quite a bit, uh, <laughs> and, uh, I don't know why. It's just making everything a lot harder because my hands are sweaty. But it's there, and it's happening. And I, I'm definitely, this is like the 80th time I've said I'm running out of things to talk about, but I'm, it's happening. Eventually, if this episode goes on long enough, I will run out of things to talk about. The universe will not provide enough subjects that are entertaining to talk about to talk about. And, uh, that's, that's, I think that's happening. Ugh! Okay, Beanie Bomb, the one I'm racing, not me. Uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna have to ask you, how the heck did you, how, how, what is your black magic you use to get past that? Because I remember playing with the Phoenix, this bike right here, and uh, getting past that better than I got past that the time I just got past that right now, like how I struggled. I remember just landing on the other side, no problem. Uh, and I uh, don't remember how it was possible, but uh, I remember it being possible. Uh, numerous times. This is actually the only time in the history of my entire life that I've ever had a problem with that jump. And I don't know why. It's just making it more difficult. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm putting enough strain on myself by trying to do with this with zero faults. It's, it's bad enough to do that, but uh, on top of the random crashes that I have no control over, this, uh, this jump, this one jump is getting me. It's getting me, and I don't know why it's getting me, but it's getting me. Oh, 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 okay. Right, right before I could get to that jump, I died. Thank you, game! I appreciate it. Ah, uh, oh god, I'm, I, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, that's all I have to say, ah, uh, just A, A, not even an H, you don't deserve an H, just ah, uh. <laughs> there's nothing more to say, there's nothing more to say on the subject of how awful this map is, it's so bad, it is just, I mean, I love it when you're not trying to get zero faults, but when you're trying to get zero faults, wait a minute, I think I just figured out, why I couldn't get past that jump. Okay, I'm gonna. Ah, yeah! <laughs> I'm gonna pause it just for a little bit and explain to you because my finger is obviously tired if this is the case, and I think it is. Excuse me, I'm cracking my knuckles. Um, I just chose to push down harder on the trigger and it went down farther. So that means my finger is so tired that the hardest I'm pushing down is not all the way down on the throttle. So this probably means that I should go to keyboard controls because I don't need to use finger strength for that. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna take another break. A short one, but uh, oh, <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Okay, I am back and I'm better, totally better. I had some delicious salt water taffy and I just took a break. I didn't do anything else. I just, I drank the rest of my uh, delicious lemonade. Uh, but, uh, and ate some salt water taffy, but that's about it. So, let's continue. Still using the controller, because I just like the way it feels. Uh, and now that I know the problem, I am very happy that I know the problem. Because, uh, yeah, you can just tell that I, I'm going a lot faster now. I mean, you can't really tell, but, yeah, look at that. I totally cleared that easy. Yeah, I, I wasn't pressing down all the way on my, uh, my thing. I was pressing down about this much. And I needed to be going all the way. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't that much that I wasn't pressing down on, but uh, I wasn't pressing down on it all the way. So that was making the jump impossible. <laughs> Which sucks. 
Ah, uh, that's one thing I don't like about the gamepad I'm using, which is the Logitech F710. The triggers are actually incredibly difficult to push down, and they're at this really awkward angle, so that, like, when you push it down, it's not, like, at a reasonable angle, so that when you push in, you just push in. You have to, like, sort of reach up in order to get to Oh, that was cool. Um, in order to... I don't know, it's just weird. If you have the gamepad, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's just, it's uncomfortable. The design is bad in trigger. Everything else about it is wonderful, but, like, if you're playing first-person shooters, the trigger would be great, because uh, it would feel like you're pulling an actual trigger, which is why what I think they had in mind for this. But they have to think why the heck would a PC gamer be getting a controller, and it's not for first-person shooters because the keyboard and mouse controls are much more reliable and accurate for uh, first-person shooters. Uh, they would be getting them for either fighting games or racing games, and this sort of counting as a racing game-ish. Uh, this, this, this needs to have good, comfortable triggers. These triggers are not what I would call comfortable. They are what I would call the opposite of comfortable. And uh, they wear down on your hands, <laughs> definitely. Ah! Okay, okay, we're good. No concern. I mean, of course I could just switch over to the keyboard and mouse control, but I've gotten way too used to the controller at this point. I would do very bad, and I don't want to do bad, I just want to beat it. <laughs> Zero faults. So, let us do this. I still do recommend the Logitech F710, because I think it's better than no gamepad, in my opinion. Uh, it's, it's, it's a good gamepad, it's just, it's design kind of uncomfortable at times. <laughs> uh, and there hasn't been any other gamepad that I found that doesn't look any less comfortable. I mean, any less uncomfortable. Even the the one, or, or, or if I have found one, then it's really, really, really expensive. <laughs> I wish uh, um, PS or PlayStation would make PC compatible gamepads. That'd be wonderful. Ugh. But then again, they would have to go for the whole Xbox layout because uh, Xbox gamepad is what's happening for games. Uh, uh, like they recognize it as like A, B, and stuff like that. Oh god! Ah, gosh dang it! That sucks! So PS would have to do some sort of negotiation with Microsoft. I don't think that's gonna happen. So I want an independent developer of things to make a gamepad that's very comfortable, like the PlayStation 3 controller, because that's like the most comfortable controller ever. Uh, I don't know why people say it's too small. Probably because they're used to the Xbox controller, which is giant um, and very clunky. <laughs> um, and so they're like, man, it's tiny. No, it's just, it's nice and light and good and not, it doesn't require batteries. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I'm not a big fan of that Xbox controller. Uh, so I, I wish there was a gamepad that was like the PS3 controller because that would just be splendid. It'd be very, very, very convenient and it would make my life a lot easier. <laughs> oh, first world problems. Okay. Forward march we go. Oh, okay, we're past Beanie Bomb. Oh, now Beanie Bomb's past us because we did the obligatory butt flip. Ah, oh, okay, we're good. Oh, nice. Okay, nice, nice, city, nice. Time to go. This is gonna. This video file is gonna be like 80 gigabytes. I'm not even joking. No. Oh. Blah. Why did I restart? It, it, I thought I was gonna die, but then I saw I flipped back over. Okay. Rule number one. We're gonna establish a set of rules here to make sure that we do not uh, do stupid stuff. So rule number one: Do not restart unless you see the crash. Don't do it. Do not do it. Don't do it. Okay, and uh, rule two, rule two, in reference to rule one, don't do it. Rule three, make sure you are pushing all the way down on the, uh, uh, the, the, the trigger, because that will help you actually jump stuff like this, and not fail to jump things, like, kind of like that. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, we have three rules. Uh, the second rule of which the list of three is basically reinforcement of rule one. Uh, so yeah, I think we're good. I think with all of this, we are fine. Also, okay, rule four. I'm gonna make a fourth rule. No flips! I know they're fun, but, uh, no flips. Just don't, don't do it. Unless you really have to. But, uh, don't do flips. 
Flips for fun are not good in this case. They are fun, but they definitely heighten our chance of falling a lot. So, no flips. I was just about to do a flip. See? I'm already disobeying my own rules. <laughs> Alright, we can do this. My throat is getting sore. I think it's about time that we finish this gosh darn track with no faults. Okay. Rule number five, be careful as well. Because sometimes I'm not careful. Ugh. Yeah, so. We've got five rules. And, uh, with those five rules, or four rules, technically. Oh, no! I think we should be... Okay. Gosh dang it. <laughs> I was trying to figure out a way I could have avoided that, but it's just the game didn't like me, apparently. Ugh. Okay, oh god, rule four, land on your back tire, because I think that's what messed me up. I didn't land on my back tire. Ah! <laughs> uh, this, this run is kind of wonky. I don't feel good about it, but a lot of the times, runs that I don't feel good about are the ones that I went on. So, that's good. <laughs> oh god! Okay, forward. Let's, let's try and beat my former ghost, too, just to add some more challenge to it. No, never mind. I don't think we need any more challenge to this than we already have. I've been going for a really, really, really freaking long time, and... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no way! That was sick! Yeah! The rules are helping. <laughs> okay, uh, so I, 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 I wanna do this. I wanna do this as soon as I can get it done, because I've got, I really, I wanna, I wanna play Trials Frontier. Not today, my, my finger and voice is way too messed up for that. I gotta, I gotta do other stuff like edit videos and upload and do all that, because I've got a little bit of a backlog of render, or not rendered, recorded videos that I've gotta do. I gotta make a thumbnail and I gotta animate too. So, uh, yeah, I can't record more. I, 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 I just can't do it today, tomorrow for sure. But, uh, yes, today. Okay, let's do this again. Rule number four, or five, or whatever it is. Be careful. That's, uh, we, we don't have to worry about the time, really. As long as we have zero faults, we should get a gold, I think. Because the time is really lenient as well. It lets you go pretty slow. Ugh! I broke one of the rules! I'm an idiot. Idiot? Is that like imbecile and idiot? I think it is. That's okay. I'm fine with it. <laughs> okay, just be careful. As long as you apply to be careful. I think I'll take away the no flips rule, but just be careful if you're doing them. Yeah. That's good. Excuse me. I need to give my mouth a little bit of a break. So, uh, pardon if there's any sort of prolonged periods of me not talking. Oh! And yes, yeah, grunts count as talking. Oh! Or maybe they don't. <laughs> okay, here we go! Full throttle! We got this! We can do it! Uh, uh. No, it's not there. We didn't get it. We didn't do it. We didn't get it! I thought I was pushing down all the way, but, uh, turns out that I was, and, uh, I just am really bad. Uh, I'm not bad, though! That's the thing! It's just not, it's, it's, it's not working, and I don't know why. <laughs> Let's try doing a front flip, or maybe, I don't know. I'm desperate. I'm desperate for anything that could help with that section. I haven't gotten past that section once, and that is just really messing with my psyche. Be careful. Yeah, okay, there we go. Okay. I feel like this probably would have been better if I was live streaming, but uh, I, I'm not. <laughs> uh, so I'm all alone. Yes, I am. I've actually never live streamed. When you think of it, I, I've never live streamed ever. I have OBS, Open Broadcasting Something Something, which lets you live stream on Twitch, but I, I've never live streamed. Maybe I should start live streaming. If you've watched this far, you're awesome, but if you hear this, uh, leave a comment. Saying if you want to watch a live stream from me, because that would that could be interesting, live streaming a game, but it would have to be some sort of game that I'm not doing a series of, or a game that I am doing a series of, but it's an infinite series, so like Happy Wheels or something like that. Ugh. Ugh. 
Ah. Or maybe like uh, another game that I just won't put on my channel. Like maybe League of Legends. But why the heck would you live stream League of Legends? <laughs> the entire live stream community gets mad at me. Ugh. I don't know, I just don't feel like League of Legends is a live streamable type of game. It's not very entertaining to watch, I've found. I've never been entertained watching someone play League of Legends ever. <laughs> I mean, it's it's kind of fun to play, but I haven't played it in a long time either. And the community has gotten horrible. It used to be good, but oh god. I haven't played it in a while, and the community is keeping me from doing so. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry for offending you, League of Legends fans. I'm so sorry. Okay. My thumb and my finger are starting to be in pain right about now. <laughs> It's okay. Oh, yeah! Another thing to talk about. Yeah, I found out. Yes, I did. <laughs> Mortal Kombat 10 is coming out, and I am really excited. For just from the, uh, I know it was not gameplay, the trailer, but I don't understand people who get mad at trailers that aren't gameplay and they're just rendered. It doesn't make any sense to me because, like, uh, it's just showing off what the game, what, it's like, it's like a concept. It's an announcement trailer. Um, it's not a gameplay trailer. Those are for gameplay trailers. <laughs> Uh, so they're just showing what they want to have in the game and showing that, hey, the game is coming out. But anyway, so yeah, based on just that, I'm excited. It looks like Scorpion's gonna have these double spears. It looks like you're gonna have some awesome charge-ups, Shinku Hadouken moves. Like, uh, Scorpion. My favorite, Sub-Zero. Yes, Sub-Zero is my favorite, not Scorpion, even though Sub-Zero gets wrecked. Because, uh, no, what's his name? Boon loves Scorpion more than anything else ever, <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> and Scorpion's design looks awesome in the game as well. Sub Zero is not that much. Anyways, um, he charged up a super ice ball that Scorpion, of course, dodged because Scorpion is Ed Boon's love of his life. Uh, <laughs> not Ed Boon. Uh, Ed Boon is a different guy. Noob Cybot. Cybot. To, to, uh, because I'm saying Noob Saibot because Noob Saibot is the the guy I'm referencing Boon's name backwards, so it's Saibot. Let's let's uh let's be Illuminati conspiracy theorists and decipher this. Saibot, um, bot Tob, Sai, Ice, to Tobias, Tobias, Noob Tobias, Boon Tobias. Is that his name? I don't think so. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, it looks awesome. There's uh, environmental interactions, like there was an injustice, and it looks like you could pick up weapons and stuff. That's pretty cool. But like the thing that, I know it's just a conceptual trailer, but the thing that really has me excited is the fighting looks to be like there's some sort of, well, it, one, it looks a lot more meaty and realistic and, and slower, which I like. And uh, it also looks like there's going to be a counter system because you see them grabbing punches and, and stuff instead of just blocking, which is awesome because uh, fighting games, I've never played a fighting game with a good defensive mechanic. Like, it's always just block, the end. You never have anything else ever. Like, uh, cause I wanna be a fight, I want a fighting game to be as fun when you're getting your butt kicked, or preventing your butt getting kicked, as it is when you're kicking someone's butt, and it looks like that game could do it. It looks pretty awesome. Like, maybe a button you time to block things, or I mean not to block, but, uh, like if you time it with a, a punch or something, like if they throw a punch and you throw a punch, you counter it, that'll be awesome. That'll be super cool. Uh, so I, I don't know. I know it's just conceptual, but if they do have a counter system, I'm really excited for it. And the graphics look awesome. And they are using the, um, the game's engine that the game will be using, uh, to make that CGI trailer. Uh, so that's really cool. That means the game will look somewhat similar to it. <laughs> uh, at least a little bit. But, uh, Mortal Kombat as 9 had good graphics. I like the graphics in Mortal Kombat 9. Ugh! In Mortal Kombat 9 is my favorite fighting game of all time. I put so many hours into that game. <laughs> I was I was getting really really good and stuff. Like my highest combo was with Rain, and I think it was like I can't remember the hit, but the percent of damage it did was like um, it was like 42 or so. 
which is pretty good because that's the uh, that's the percentage of the highest powered X-ray in the game, which is Kano's X-ray. And Kano's X-ray is really overpowered because 42 is almost half of your health. <laughs> so yeah, just an X-ray doing that isn't very cool. Uh, and X-rays are indeed back, but they looked like they were a bit more seamless too, which is cool as well. Uh, okay, I'm uh... I don't know what I was gonna do. I was gonna do something, but I I forgot. <laughs> no! Okay, that's what I was gonna do. I'm gonna take another break. <laughs> My mouth hurts. Okay, we are back and I switched back to the scorpion. I don't know. I really just I, I wanna stop playing this game. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I, I, I I'm gonna try to use the faster bike to hopefully clear that jump because I know I'm not gonna make that jump. But I don't it's 12 a.m. I'm pretty tired and I I just, I don't, I want to beat this. I don't want to stop playing the game, really. I want to beat this, and and I, I don't want to not beat this anymore. I want to have this beaten. I want to finish the series, and uh, yeah, I want to do those those two things. I didn't do anything during this break. I just sat there and, and, and rested my head upon my sweaty, sweaty hand, and uh, yeah, that's, that's all I did. <laughs> this game is taking so much out of me. I I don't like. I don't. But I am going faster than my previous self, so I think that's a good sign. That uh, this bike seems to be doing pretty good. I think I doubted its ability when I first tried to use it, just due to one fail, which is dumb. You shouldn't judge things on on the first time you do them or whatever. Oh man. There we go. Okay, we're good. I like the control of this bike, though. I actually, it feels more sturdy. It doesn't feel as messy. Like, I love the bounciness of the other one, but uh, this one just feels like it's a bit more solid. Like, you won't fall. You don't have a high enough chance of falling. Oh. Aww. Okay. But, uh, it, it, I, I don't know how I'm going to do that part, but this map was this track was designed with this bike in mind because it's a medium track and I think you get this bike at medium level or hard level, I don't know. <laughs> no, medium level, yes. Uh, so I think I chose the right decision to stick with this bike this time. Which is good. Because <sighs> I really want to beat this really badly. Really, really badly. <laughs> uh, and, and I've successfully, again, run out of things to talk about. So I'm just going to gently talk about the game. So yes, Trials Evolution came out in 2012, and, uh, it's, uh, yes, it was the reason- Oh, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I forgot the brakes weren't as good on this bike, so I didn't press down on them long enough to bring myself back to a full stop. I just gotta get used to this bike, it's old. Uh, but yeah, this game was the reason why I got an Xbox Gold membership. This is the only reason this game, and that's that's a feat. If you like a game enough so that you're gonna pay 50 bucks for just just to have the ability to get it, <laughs> like I didn't get it so I could go online. I just got it so I can buy the game because I don't think you can buy the game if you don't have the gold membership. Just really, 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 really stupid. <laughs> It, yes, it's very good. I like it a lot. <clears throat> and I'm glad they moved it to PC, even though it seems to be harder on this. <laughs> and I'm also glad Trials Fusion came out on PC right away. Oh, I don't get why developers don't just port all their games to PC. It doesn't, like, unless it's a system exclusive. But if it's for Xbox and PS3 and all the consoles, just to port it to PC, man, it's not that hard. <laughs> Uh. Oh man, I've resorted to making fart sounds for entertainment. I'm so sorry. But if you've watched this far, then I think you'll be able to put up with anything by this point. Okay, so we're moving forward. We're already way past our previous self, so this is a good sign. Oh, we're a whole one second ahead. I'll get that at the top left. Oh, I just gotta make sure to, uh, to... I guess overdo things on this bike because the Phoenix is very like twitchy like you can twitch it and it moves a lot But this bike you gotta have to hold it down a little bit and Oh, hey the explosion sounds were on time for once. That's cool 
I think that's a sign that I'm gonna do it. I feel exhilarated. I feel, I feel alive again. I'm feeling motivated. That's what the word is. I was so discouraged for a while there. I, I have my motivation back. Oh, snap. Oh! And my motivation is completely gone. Okay, let's do this again. Ah! Why does it do that? I don't understand why it just lands on the floor and, and, and gets stuck. Let's just do a lot of flips. I don't know if that's gonna help us. Let's just do as many flips as we possibly can. I think that might help with morale, maybe, but the whole losing part that comes with it probably won't help with morale. <laughs> oh. Okay, we're good. I just think I have to make sure to go a little bit slower on that part. Uh, because if I go too fast, then I will land in the floor, and that won't be good, because then I will fail. I just think I need to make an effort to, to pay attention, because I'm just sort of doing things based on muscle memory at this point, and I need not to, because the, <sighs> the parts that I fail at, usually, are the parts that I fail at continually. That part I have never failed at before, I don't think, or maybe I have, and it was just such a traumatic memory that I removed it from my mind, but... <laughs> but, uh, yeah, most of the time, when you fail, it seems to... <sighs> okay, I am failing at places I have never dreamt to fail at before. I am just so happy that this is happening to me right now. I'm so glad I chose this for the finale episode. Okay? I'm, I'm so glad that I didn't just say, hey, I, I accidentally recorded the things, and uh, yeah, so I'm not doing trials anymore. I'm so glad that I actually chose to go with the finale, which is to get zero faults on the Giga track. Uh, it was a really good idea, if you can tell by my totally non-sarcastic voice here. It was a good idea. And, uh, I'm happy that I did it. I am not really, I am, I regret it full-heartedly right now. I really don't want to do this right anymore. Like, I kind of want to just say, okay, I'm going to do this with faults now. But, if I've dedicated my life to this, so much so that it's now, like, 12.07 a.m., and I'm still doing this, I'm going to freaking do it. There's no way that I'm going to let this beat me if I've tried for so hard this long. I I remember, I think I got zero faults, or one fault or something, or a low amount of faults on this on the Xbox. So, uh, I should be able to do it. I, I just think I need rocky, rocky determination. Oh, explosion sounds are off again. That's copyrighted. I really hope I don't get a claim. That'd be really stupid. <laughs> okay. Wait, gotta go slow on this part. I forgot. I forgot. Okay, see? Just take your time. Be careful. There we go. Yeah, we're doing good now. Woo! That was good. Okay, look, oh, careful. See, you don't want any hard impacts. You want nice... Rolling with the flows and stuff. So how it's oh, okay? Nope, nope. We gotta go a bit faster for that part. Let's go back. Let's go back. Okay, okay. All right, we can do it now. Okay, so I feel it's okay for us to. Nope, nope, nope. I really you could you could see how much I don't want to fail by the fact that I'm just doing choosing to go backwards just so I can do this part correctly. Okay, let's do it. This is the time. Ah! <laughs> yeah. No. No. That was my angry beatbox. That was uh, my oppression to how much I wanted to cuss there. <laughs> angry beatbox. Okay, that worked. It got a lot of my frustration out. Uh, angry beatbox. <laughs> Take a deep breath, so I can get to move along with doing this. I will do this to the end of time. This will be a five hour episode. I will do this forever, if I have to. I will do this forever, if I have to. And uh, I'm going to complete it. 
This is uh, this is what I have officially dedicated my life to. If I do not complete this, my lifeline will be cut and I will die. Uh, I'm doing I'm I'm doing this. This is definitely something I am doing in the near future, the very very near future. I'm going to be completing this level because I've been doing this level for a very long time. Oh no oh no! Please don't get stuck in the floor. Thank you thank you. I mean you kind of did, but you didn't get stuck. So I uh, I appreciate it. Um, but uh, I know that once I get past this and back to the jump, which I haven't gotten to for some reason, uh, I will be able to make the jump because this bike is indeed faster and uh, I will be able to do the jump. Uh, so here we go, finally past all the parts that I have been failing up to this point and I'm glad for that. So I am uh, I'm happy now that we are past all the stupid stuff. So now we can just continue, and I think we're gonna be good now that we've gotten past the whole first part of the level, the track that uh, I've been failing at. Ugh! Okay, acceleration is less. I just gotta remember that. Acceleration is less, and brakes are not as good. Oh, gosh. Oh. Ah. Okay, we're good. Here comes the jump. Oh, well, here's one of the jumps, but... Ah! And we made it. Okay, that's good. And here is the other jump. The, my enemy, my mortal enemy, which I should be able to make on this bike really easily. Uh, yep, very, very easily, in fact. Uh, so, I'm good now. I think I should be able to complete this track very easily now. Uh, and I just really hope I don't fault. Uh, because I would be very, very sad if I did. <laughs> I did fault. It would be horrible. It would be very, very... That'd be, it would not be a good thing. Uh, so I'm just gonna stop talking about it because then I might jinx myself. And, and, oh, oh, please. Oh, yes! Oh, thank goodness. That was very close. I'm gonna be so careful. I'm gonna be carefuler than someone with arthritis trying to. <laughs> okay. There I go. Bye, me. Ah. Uh, yeah. Just, just hump the air, dude. It'll, it'll get your frustrations out. He's ri wiggling. He's dancing. He's trying to dance the frustration away. Three minutes into the map and I fault. Three minutes into the map and I fault. Okay. 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 <laughs> I. Ah. <sighs> I, I, I don't I don't have the energy to fully rage anymore. That is gone. This game has sucked it out of me. I do not have the energy. I completely sympathize with anyone who has ever tried to get zero volts on this godforsaken ma track because it is just evil. We are starting from the beginning after three minutes into the map into the track. And, uh, if you're still here, you're still watching, if you've decided to watch the whole thing, I commend you. You are probably amongst legend status. Ah! Uh, thank you for, for, for working that time. Uh, but yes, you are probably of legend status, and you are my favorite subscriber. Or even, not subscriber, but viewer. If you are not subscribed and you're still watching all this way, uh, I recommend doing so because all of my other videos will be much better than this one. This video is just, it's just so, there's so much pain. There's just so much pain. <laughs> I'm gonna have flashback memories of this and nightmares of this experience <laughs> in the future. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, you can't. Oh. Oh, is it giving me a second chance? <gasps> it gave me a second chance! Yeah! <laughs> yes! Oh, that was awesome! I thought I, I had given up. I thought that it would say, nope, you're failing here for the millionth time. That part is my mortal enemy on this bike, but the jump is at least possible, so this is the bike that I have to use. And I'm getting used to it now. I'm, get uh, I'm getting used to it now. <laughs> I almost... Uh, I'm not gonna say the, the F word, the, uh, the faulted word. Just to clarify that I mean the other F word. But uh, yeah, not gonna not gonna say that word anymore, just in case it, it brings up 
bad juju or something like that. I don't know. I'll do anything to pass this track. I will with zero faults. I mean, I can obviously pass it on my own. Cause I've done it a billion times before. But, uh... But, but, yeah, no, I just need to do this with zero faults, which I'm getting better at. Look, see, we already passed the ramp now. I think the more I get past this, the more I feel confident in doing the rest of this, so the less I fault overall. Let's see, I faulted at this one point that's near after this because I was going too fast. So I, I just need to take, it was this part, I think. It was not this part. This part is okay to go. Ah, oh, camera angle. Follow my character. Don't stay on the freaking log. It was this part. It was this part, I'm sure of it. Uh, no, it was not that part. It was the ramp. It was the part with the little ramp. And I think, oh yeah, it's after this. So it was, uh, it was not that. Oh, it was this part. Yes, okay, and that, since I was being careful, I made it past. Okay, so I am good now, I think. Oh, 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 okay. Now I'm good to go fast again, I think. I'm pretty sure. Oh. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 please, 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 please. Please, bring me back to life with zero faults. Please do it. Okay, I'm fine. All I need to, oh, what the heck was that? That was, that was, that was weird. I got a speed boost. <laughs> but I'm good now. Now that I have, no, now that I know that I can get past the first part without faulting, I just need to get past the latter parts without faulting, which is bad. Uh, and good, but mostly, mostly good and bad, I guess. It's kind of equal because if I fault on the latter parts, it means more time that I have to take to redo everything to get up to that part again. Uh, but it's good because that means that I'm getting that much closer to beating this horrible, horrible hell level. <laughs> I mean, I, like I said, I love the level when you're not trying to get zero faults on it, but when you're trying to get zero faults on it, it is the worst. It's not even that hard. It's actually really easy. Like, really, really easy. It's just, uh, it's, it's so long that your chances of faulting are very, very high. <laughs> even if you're a pro, getting zero is probably easy on this, but probably harder than getting zero on a harder fault map. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, don't get stuck. You got, you got, you got it, you got it, you got this. Yeah, you got this, man. You got this. Oh. Okay, we're good. We're good to go. I think my family might be concerned of my existence right now. <laughs> it's like, man, they've been, he's been recording for a really long time. I hope he's been recording different videos. <laughs> no, no, it's just it's been the same one. It's the trials finale. It's, 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 it's supposed to be epic and big and stuff. I just really hope that this is, I'm pretty positive it has, but I am hopeful that this has gone past an hour by now because uh, I just hope it doesn't pass an hour and 30 minutes, which it probably already has, but I hope it doesn't pass two hours, which it might be close to me doing. <laughs> I don't know how long I've been recording for uh, because I use DX Tori and I don't think you have an option for that to tell you. Oh, it just tells you the frame rate, uh, which is good. Uh, uh, okay. Green, and we're getting close to the jump again. The jump is kind of like a landmark for where I need to pay attention because it's like unfamiliar territory. And it's also kind of like scarred memories. <laughs> but it's okay, with this bike we can make this jump very easily. Yes, like that. I didn't even lean or anything. I just let it take me. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> That's fun, okay, so let's do this. I just, like, the things that get me is the parts where you need to go a little bit slower or else you, like, wreck yourself or something, I don't know. Like, the parts where you need to go a little bit slower because the jump is just far enough so that you can't clear it, so you need to land on it, otherwise you hit your back tail and then you flip forward, like that, that, like, just, just like that. I think I should just go slow throughout this whole latter half, just go really, really slow and make sure that I don't fault because there's like the drops come so suddenly that you can't determine if hey do I need to slow down for this because there might be a jump that I won't be able to make <sighs> but uh, yeah so I'm just going to take the precautionary thing and to go slow ish on at least like judge my like go slow before every jump but then there might be a jump where I have to go fast, or I might fail, so it's just, uh, there's no way of telling unless I memorize the map, or unless I'm lucky. 
Uh, track! I keep saying map. I don't think that's ever going to stop. <laughs> He's saying map. Why did I do that? Why did I think I could lean back more? I tried to do a, a cool wheelie thing. Uh, but it didn't work, obviously. This is a side of commentary from Beanie Bomb you have never seen, in which there is no energy in it, because the energy has been extracted. This game has taken it all. This game isn't even running on my computer anymore, it's running on my dead hopes and dreams of a good finale video and, and my energy. I could just turn off my computer and I could still be playing this game because it's not running on my computer anymore, it's just running on my dead energy, my sadness, <laughs> my tears and my sweats. The only thing I need to put into this is blood. I'm just kidding, I haven't put my tears into it yet, but it'll happen. I'm pretty sure when I keep this up. I, I can't believe how hard this is though. I mean, it's not even hard, like I said, it's just sometimes you'll fault for no reason, no reason that you can control anyways. And it's just so annoying. It's like luck. You just have to have luck on your side in order to do this fault list. It's, I don't like it. My fingers are cramping. Oh no, I went fast, but I didn't get stuck in the floor, which I'm happy for. Ah! <coughs> I always get stuck in the floor on that part, and I'm glad I did not. Oh, the backgrounds are pretty. I haven't looked at them once because I've been focusing, but the backgrounds are definitely nice. Oh, okay, forward please. Thank you. If you fell backwards, I would have died. Uh, <laughs> not in game, in real life, I would have, my heart would have just stopped due to the horrible sadness. <laughs> it's not even anger anymore. <laughs> Okay, we're good. We had a good laugh now. That's an emotion that we felt. That, was, that required some energy. <laughs> Excuse the periods of not talking. That's when I need to close my mouth to, I don't know, rest it a little bit. I've been talking for so long. So, so long. Because I have also re technically recorded two episodes before this, each being close to 30 minutes, but... Uh, only one of them went up because the second one, as I said, like 50 times, I, I didn't hit record on my audacity. Uh, which I really, again, wish I did, like, really badly. I, I really wish I hit record because then I wouldn't be doing this! <laughs> you guys would have already had the episodes up. I was planning on uploading all these episodes before the ungodly hours of the night because I always upload at that uh, time. <laughs> uh, but I guess not. Uh, it was just a bad idea for me to choose to try and finish this game. <laughs> at least tonight, because if I tried it tomorrow, who knows? Maybe I would have gotten the zero faults on the first try. Oh no, no, yes! Okay, I cleared it. Okay, so going fast seems to be the key, actually, because last time I didn't clear that, but maybe that was just because I was going too slow. That's okay. Okay, this time I know I need to go slow though, because then that would have hit me, and yeah, that, that, that would have been stupid. Uh, so now, we are the furthest we have ever been. Congratulations, clap, 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 it, clap, 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 oh, clap, oh, clap, clap, shadow is scaring me. I really, like, actually, my heart is pumping pretty hard right now, because I know we're nearing the end of the map, and I do not want to fault. Like, I don't really badly. Oh, I just remembered there's a hard part at the end of this that I might... Like, if, okay, I think, I know this is zero, this is, this whole thing is going to be I want to do this is zero faults, but I think if I fault after this point, I might just not, like, I might just lie and say that I got zero faults, but, uh, because, you know, this is, look at the freaking, the textures aren't even rendered, they're like, nope, oh, there they go, <laughs> I thought the textures were totally out of there, like, it, Okay, nope, 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 nope. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care anymore. We are doing this zero. F we're, 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 we're doing this with faults. That's okay. I'm just going to be doing the giga track. I don't. Nope. I give up. I, I rage quit. You guys can have your little zero fault celebration on your own. You try and do it. I, I have tried my hardest. I am done with zero faulting this. This was a bad idea. 
I'm just going to be doing this track. I don't care how many faults I get. In fact, I want to get as many faults as I possibly frickin' can just to just to poop on this whole idea that zero fault giga track is even possible. Because it's not! It is not possible! I've got number one world ride and number two world ride on very popular maps. And I cannot zero fault this. I am good at this game. <laughs> With enough tries, and I've tried this for so many hours, and I cannot zero fault this. This is just something that I cannot do. I know with enough time and patience, I will be able to do it. But I, ca I can't. I just, I, just, I just can't do it. I just, I, I see two faults. Who cares? No one cares. I don't care. I don't. Not at all. <laughs> no. This is no. I, I don't, I don't care at all. I, I, it's, uh, it's not like I just wasted my time completely trying for zero faults because... No, oh, three faults, that's okay. That's totally fine. You know, knowing that I would have eventually gone for the whole I'm gonna fault route because I don't care, you know, that would have that would have granted me a lot of time, waste, less time wasted in my life because I wasted a lot of time by trying to get zero faults when that would have never come to be a reality. But that's okay, we're on the fun part of this map now, which is just downhill and everything's smooth sailing. I know there's not much hard stuff coming up, and it's just ramps and fun times, so that's good. We made the jump across the big water, and we are good to go. There's some cars. Smash your window. Oh, after police coming straight from the underground. Sorry, I faulted again. My bad! <laughs> You know, if we finish this with five faults, I'll be okay. I'll be fine. <laughs> no, I won't be, but... Okay, bike got stuck on the floor. No problem! We'll just restart. I mean, from the checkpoint, not the whole thing. Because we're not doing that anymore. <laughs> no, I am not doing that anymore. I, I'm just gonna... I'm, I'm gonna quit fail, failed attempts. Zero faults. Trials finale. It's the title. I'm sorry. I tried. Ah. Okay, we're good for that jump, and then we're good. And yeah, stuck in the floor. Okay, we didn't get stuck in the floor. See, I've just come to expect the worst possible situation from this game now, due to how much of a negative person it has made me. Ah, <laughs> uh, but it's okay. We're gonna be completing this. This isn't even a trek to zero fault in this map. This is just. We started off with high ambitions and high goals and, you know, it's just, it, it, this map is hard enough for getting low faults as it is. It's just, we're crawling to the finish at this point. It's like a marathon runner that wanted to get first place and then just crawled to the finish and last a mile behind everyone else. It's like us right now, and it's unfortunate because I thought, I, I genuinely thought I was going to be able to do it, and I thought I was going to be able to do it 30 minutes ago, but uh, uh, actually an hour ago I thought I would have been able to do this, but it turns out that, you know, it's impossible. It is actually impossible. Do not try this for yourself. You will fail. And don't don't succumb to uh, whatever it's called where you say something and you actually want the person to do the other thing. Because I'm being genuine, genuinely serious. You will not have a fun time if you try to do this without any faults. You will fail. Unless you are very, very good. Better than better than someone who can get first place world ride and I'm not saying I'm good I mean I'm, I'm not saying I'm I'm, I'm pro I'm, I'm good but if you're very 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 good you will be able to do this it's basically what I'm saying but don't attempt it and, and I don't want you attempting it because I don't want you going through the same pain that I went through because this is just stupid uh, the, there's a great pressure off of my shoulders right now knowing that I have six faults it's a good sight, you know. I said in the last episode that seeing that zero fault thing was just too tempting, or maybe it was this episode. I don't remember. My 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 sense of time is completely gone. But uh, I said that the uh, the look of a zero oh the look of a uh, of a zero fault a zero at the top left of your corner. Gosh, that took a long time to say. The look of that is just too tempting. But here we go! We're gonna finish! Yeah! Finish with a boom. Six faults. 
New personal record, at least. <laughs> Weird sphere by the fire. I don't know what that is, but we did it. With so much pain and agony. Next medal. I was actually... Wait a minute. How do they expect you to get, like, a little bit below eight minutes with six faults? I was going pretty fast. I don't know, though, but... Oh, what a journey it has been. First series completion. Completion of a series that's been going on for a while. Trials Evolution! Thank you so, 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 so much for watching. Even if you've been watching this entire episode, thank you so, so, so much for watching. Uh, but yes, thank you for watching. And uh, even if you just skip this end part to see what I would say. Thank you for watching, and I'm glad you didn't suffer through that, that whole thing, because this is a very long episode, I can tell. I don't know how long I've been recording, but it's, it's a while. Uh, so yeah, with that, I will see you all later, and have a very, very nice day. Again, don't try and do the Giga Track Zero Fault. It'll frustrate you. It will drain you of all of your energy, and uh, yes. It's 12.31 a.m., and uh, this is BD Bombs heading off. <laughs> have a nice day.